happy Monday, everyone. Hope you've had a great week. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the importance of taking it slow, of savoring the time that you have at the easel. I want to talk about how you can't always rush a painting. This painting behind me, right there, you can see part of it. I'm going to be posting it soon on my website. I have to go get a good photo of it before I can actually post it. It is of Island Lake or above the mountains above Island Lake. And I started this painting, I realized four years ago. And it sat on my wall for many, many months would go by. And it was nearly finished, very close to completion. And I just had other things going on. I had other paintings going on. I had some health issues last year, so I barely picked up my brush all of last year. 2023 has been a whole different year and I have been painting like crazy. And I have been finishing off a lot of these paintings that I started a long time ago. And actually you can kind of see behind right there is a, poppy, a peony painting, which I'm about to finish. Hopefully this week I'll be able to put a signature on that one. They are all near completion right now. And I finished another one a couple days ago. Uh, another little eight by 10 of a mountain scene that I had started last year. So you need to trust the process. Don't second guess yourself. And just allow these paintings to unfold as they do and when they do. Don't rush it, just allow. Let it happen, and I th think you will find, you will wind up with a better painting if you just let it come when it's meant to come. And another important thing to rec remember is that even when you're not painting, you are still being creative, you are still working, you are still contemplating, you are still thinking, you are still being an artist, even when you're not got a paint, even when you do not have a paintbrush in your hand, you are still an artist. And don't forget that. Last year when I had my health issues, I sat with my notebook and a pen in my hand and I created with words. None of you have seen those words much other than with my Cloud Lake literary book reviews. That's the only thing that I've actually published. But one day those words that are in my notebooks will be published, I hope or posted on my blog somewhere there, they are not lost. Those that year was very contemplative. It was quiet. It was not producing any visual things for the public, but 2023 is different. I am painting. And I think every artist has to go through that at some period in their creative process or their career and if you don't go through that then you don't change your work stays the same it stays rigid and you don't want that you want things to be flowing and yeah my trees in this painting look like my other trees that I have from years ago but somehow there is a difference uh don't ask me what it is but it it, it yeah art can't always be explained and it's just vital that you enjoy it. Art is meant to be enjoyed. And part of the reason I put paintings aside is because I lose steam with them. I lose my mojo, my momentum. And sometimes they have to just sit and percolate for a while. And then I get excited about working on them again. It's important to be excited about what you're doing. You don't want it to be a drudgery or grueling, you do not want to hate the process. I spoke with somebody yesterday who had a project that she's doing for school and she can't wait for this school project to be over. She is dreading it, she's in a bad mood and on and on and on, she's exhausted. 
And I don't think that that is the state that you should necessarily be in when you are trying to do something beautiful for the world, create something beautiful. Now, some of you really like to stick with the painting until it's completed. I am the type of artist that works on multiple paintings at once and that's not always the norm. I have many of my students who really, really prefer to do one painting at a time. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. But just make sure when you go back to work on it, you're not dreading it. You don't want it to be like work. <laughs> this is not work. This is something to be enjoyed. And then once it's finished, you give that to the world. You let the rest of the world enjoy it and you go on to your blank canvas. So don't be afraid to just put things aside. Don't be afraid to sit and read your art books and don't paint at all. Don't be afraid to have a bunch of half finished paintings in your studio. Right now, my whole studio is upside down all over the place. I had to kind of move over a bit my easel because I've got things happening. My desk is a mess. I'm painting a bookshelf and I'm rearranging furniture. Things are going on. And so today is not a paint day. Maybe tomorrow is. It's hard to get focused on painting and being creative when you have other things that are happening and you've got a bit of chaos. Right now my studio is in chaos. You can't really see that, but maybe you can. <laughs> and when you've got other things hanging on your mind, it's tax season. I've got paperwork to do when my desk is exploding. So I kind of have to set aside a day of paperwork every once in a while and do that because it does get overwhelming if I don't. And I find it very, very difficult to do paperwork and do creative art at the same day, during the same day. They are two sides of the brain. So keep that in mind that you cannot always paint, even though you would like that a lot. So don't force it. You can't force it. If you are having a stressful day, a busy day, if your phone's ringing off the hook, don't try and paint and focus on your creative process if you have other things going on. Sometimes it's better to just clear off the desk, get rid of the projects, but be careful that you don't just get preoccupied by distractions because sometimes the dishes can be left and the, you don't need to do the vacuuming or whatever. But it's important to get taxes done. Yeah, there are pay bills, etc. So. I sometimes will set aside a whole day or two to get caught up on all that mundane stuff so it's out of my head and then I am free to create and free to just be where I am in that creative process. So there's a few things that I've discussed here today and just I hope you will take value in that, that you can't rush the process. It all takes time. The best paintings take time. And then if you take time out from your work and let it happen in your brain, let it come when it's meant to, then when you do get back to the easel, it comes very quickly usually. If you're on the right, on the right path, it will flow really quickly. The, this ferny painting right here, crazy how it sat on my wall unchanged for pretty much four years and then I picked it up put it on my easel and it took two afternoons to finish it so it had to wait four years for those few strokes to take place and I think it was worth it I think it paid off I hope you like it I will post a photo of the finished painting since you can't see it all right now because I'm sitting in front of it. But um, yeah, just enjoy. This is a creative process and it should be fun 
there are stressful days. Painting is not easy. But the overwhelming part of art is that it should be a good, good process. Fun. And I want you to enjoy. Please let me know what you're up to. Let me see what you are painting. I genuinely want to know what you're working on. So let me know. And I will see you right here at the same time next Monday. Give me an idea of what you would like me to talk about and I will get to that. Bye for now, everyone. Have a good week.